Hey guys, we're back, part B. Cardio bit, this is a fun bit, this is where we get a bit of sweat on and we start working the muscles a bit more. Okay, so we've got the skills set up for mainly the um, conditioning now. So we've done the lunge, uh, suitcase carry, bicep curls and side bends. Okay, now we're gonna incorporate that in a cardio uh, piece. Uh, I did another movement in and I'll go, that's the movement I'm going to demonstrate in this video. So the cardio, this is 12 minutes long, okay? We've got three different stations and we're going to swap between those um, throughout that 12 minutes. So you've basically got four rounds of uh, this workout. Um, it's written on the, as an EMOM. So an EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. Okay, we will be um, putting these into a lot of the workouts that we do. So the first minute, and basically that, what it means is every minute we change. Okay, um, not necessarily always change a movement, but we obviously start from the beginning um, into the whatever, whatever we're doing. Okay, so for this instance, we are changing movements every minute. So first minute, guys, you're going to do 10 meter suitcase carry or 10 steps out uh, or even five steps out five steps back and then 10 side bends on that same side. Switch over and do that again, sorry, excuse me, uh, on the other side, okay? And you're all gonna try to get that within that minute. We'll place the suitcase down out of the way and then you're gonna do the next minute. If you've got a bit of time, then you'll rest. Uh, next minute, you'll go straight into the lunges, okay? So it's 10 lunges, that's five each side. Yeah, so alternating, ideally. Uh, and then 10 bicep curls if it's single arm, if it's 10 on one arm, 10 on the other. Um, if it's double arm, then it's that's with the broomstick. Okay, so 10 lunges uh, and then 10 bicep curls. Again, guys, don't worry about it. I'm going to be doing it with you. I'll be talking you through it as we do it. Yep, third minute. This is the new movement that we haven't done yet. So um, if you particularly struggle with getting up and off the floor, then we're going to do half rep burpees and then the rep range, we've got a rep range, okay? So you choose something that's going to be challenging for you. Uh, so three to seven reps, we're looking at the half rep burpees. Again, I'll go through it before we start anyway. If you're particularly fit and you're finding these workouts a little bit easier at the moment, then I want you to do four rep burpees. So that's touching the floor on the floor with your full body getting up and jumping, okay? And your rep range is gonna be anywhere between seven and 10 reps, yep. And what I'm looking for, or what you should be looking for, is hitting around about 30 seconds to 35 seconds of hard work, okay, on this station. Yeah, these ones will be slightly easier. These ones will be getting your breath back, but really pushing those burpees is gonna be the one that gets your heart rate up and burn more calories, yep. Cool. Like, like I say, I'll be doing it with you, so we're going to go through the movements and you'll get a good idea of where you should be and what you should be doing. Okay? So, let's go through the burpees now. Let's move this out of the way. So, half rep burpees to get us started um, as a skill. So, if you're doing half rep burpees, first of all, try them on, the, on a chair. Okay, so make sure that this chair is not going to slide and it's up against something. We'll make it a little bit easier for you. So your hands come down, then you drop your feet out to a position where you're comfortable. Jump them back in, and a little jump off the floor. So place your hands down, jump back. Uh, if you're really struggling with that jump back, then just step back, and then try to jump forward to come through. So you can step back, just try to do different legs to step back, come through. That is too easy for you. Like I say, we've always got options, guys. There's always options. Uh, if that's too easy for you, then we'll go down to the ground. I'll just get this uh, suitcase out of the way. So we're going to come half rep, half rep down to the ground. So we place our hands back first, so we're on the floor. Jump back slightly. Jump forward. And then jump up. So hand back. There. Now, some of you might think that's a normal burpee, okay? Some of you have probably done that in other gyms and that's been classed as a normal burpee. Here, it's not, it's a half rep burpee, but that doesn't mean to say that it's bad that you, that, that's the one that you're gonna to have to work on, okay? All it says is that 
there's harder burpees out there. Okay, and now we'll go through that one now. So the full range burpee, yeah. So if you find those hard reps too easy and you're flying through them, you think, oh, that's, these are too easy, this workout's too easy. Um, let's hit the full range ones, okay? So full range ones, you'll notice that my chest touches the floor and my thighs are on the floor as well. Yeah, and then I'm jumping up through. Well, let me go through those, it'll be easier to see it. So I'm coming down here, place my hands down. I'm on the floor here, completely on the floor, chest and thighs, up, down, all the way. Notice that when I'm on the floor, my elbows are behind in that press up. I land in the squat and jump up. So it's a press up into a squat, into a jump. Yeah? Cool. I'll get the clock set it up, guys. So I shouldn't take too much. You should be able to see this. So, again, 12 minutes. Get my suitcase ready. So 12 minutes. Um, remember you're going to need something for biceps. Um, lunges, if you need a weight, that's fine, hold that. If not, so what I do guys, to start off with, on my first set of lunges, I'm going to step back to talk those people through who, who do struggle with lunges. Um, and if you don't struggle with lunges, you'll, you'll step forward. Okay, if that's too easy, then grab a book or grab something that's a little bit heavier, kettlebell if you've got that at home. But making sure those key points are there. And I'm going to go through that as we go through the workout. So, 12 minutes. Changing stations on each minute. Yeah. Let me get the clock up. And it's set to zero. Okay. So 12 minutes hard work. That's all we're looking for. Yeah. So, we're starting off with a suitcase carry. So I'm going to make sure enough room to walk up and back so I'm going to walk towards you guys um, so bear with me going really close but well, otherwise I'm going to walk off the screen and you won't see me I could be sitting around there uh, having coffee so to get started then guys we've got 10 meter suitcase carry so I'm going to walk out and walk back and then I'm going to go into my side bends swap arms and change through going in 10 seconds five seconds three two, one, and we're off. So I make sure I hinge in the hips, pick it up, single arm. So it's off my body yet. Sharp is optional guys okay so that took me 30 seconds it's got to take me 30 seconds now otherwise I'm gonna to struggle to get back onto the movement so the reach ups optional we can just go single arm ten place that down I've got five seconds before going to our lunges, three, two, one, let's go. So I'll step back. And I'm trying to come down, keep that knee out. And it's the same if you're going back, uh, going forward. Go, if you can't get down to the floor, guys, you have to use your arm to get up. Then just go to a position where you can get back up. Okay, we're going to my bicep curls now. Eight, nine, ten. Good, that gives me three seconds now before I go into the next movement. So half rep burpees or not. If you're flying through this and you think this is too easy, then stick with me on this ten of burpees and this is the sort of pace that you want to be going for. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, 
Okay. Now, if you find, that's what I'm saying, if you find those burpees easy, just go faster, okay? If you find them hard, half rep, guys, it's not a problem, yeah? Right, get your suitcase ready. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Start off on your weaker side first. 10 seconds, make sure we hinge the hips. Hinge the hips. Three, two, one. Pick that up. Okay, so now the bag is off the side. Now we're reaching down. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place that down or we'll swing it over. And we'll back out that low so there's a gap. There's a prominent gap between the bag and my legs. And then. Make sure we come over, hinge back, place that down. So this time I'm gonna lunge forward. Yep, yeah, but those ones who are lunging back, that's fine, you crack on with that. So lunge forward, making sure that that knee stays out. Same on the lunge back, this knee stays out. Two, three. Feet are forward. Four. Guys, if that, that's too easy for you, then you need to find a weight that you can still control and you're not swinging, okay? So, burpees going in 10 seconds. Take your, if you shovel burpees, getting up and getting down, guys, half rep it. Uh, find something that's going to get you going, okay? So, go ahead and go. Five seconds, keep working, and rest, okay? Now control the heart rate, mate. So we're halfway now, guys. Halfway through, we've got two more rounds of each one, and then we're done. So we've got 10 seconds. Five seconds, make sure picking this weight up safely, bags off you, walking forward. I do you want to be walking out, but like I say, if you haven't got the room, okay, we're taking the bag past the knee. It's taking 30 seconds each side, which is ideal. You can reach over if you want. Nine, ten, good. Remember, good hinge back is going to help you with keeping your back safe. So. If you're doing goblet lunges, a bit of weight. So we shouldn't be here pushing off our knee to get back up. Going too far down, or, let's count now, or you need to step backwards, okay? I don't know how many have done that because I've been talking. 
do one more, good measure. And bicep curls, it's all here, okay? Nothing else should be working. Nine, ten. Nice work. So we've got the heart right now, the heart spiker, which is the burpees. Half rep, um, chair, floor, or four reps on the floor, okay? So, make sure you've got enough room behind you. Three, two, one, let's go. Land in the squat and jump up. One. Last round guys, last time through each movement, yeah, so three minutes of work to go. Grab a quick drink, should take you through to the end now. So a suitcase carrier needs to be enough weight, you have to really stabilise your core, okay? Nice and straight. Bag's not touching my leg. Ten. Nice. Nearly went into the side bend then. Nice and steady on the walk. So don't run, nice and steady, keep that bag away from you, yeah, and back, and then reach over up, six, ten, okay, so that suitcase is done now. We're going to straight into lunges. Toes are facing forward, knee stays tracking so it stays out. Keep the tension, don't stop. So you don't want to stop here and then have to pull yourself up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And into my bicep curls. Butter squeeze. Ten. Nice. Last one, guys. Last one for your burpees now. So really, really as far, fast as you can, or as much as you can. Um, if you're doing half ones with a lower rep range, then try to increase the reps just as the last one, okay? Last spike of the heart, and let's go. Okay guys, should we come to the end now? I'd say stop there. Let's get that clock out of the way. So grab a drink, pause if you need to, I'm just gonna go through a quick summary. Okay, summary guys, worked on the lunge today, a lot of single leg strength, okay? And it's really important that this knee, or whatever knee you're out, lunging out, or is in forward, forward of the body, should be out and not in. Put too much pressure on, on here. If we do suffer from our knees, if we get good at 
get strong at lunges, you'll notice a lot of that knee pain go away because it's building up the muscles around the knee and it'll support it. Okay, so stick with the lunges, even if it only means you're going halfway because the benefits for it in the long run um, are, br are brilliant. We found on the course loads of times, people really struggle with knee, just climb up the stairs to struggle. This single leg movement um, really helps. Suitcase carry, so we're gonna build up the obliques, so really working the core, same with the side bends. Um, so suitcase is more stability, where the side bends is actually building up the strength in the obliques and the, the core. Okay, and then the burpees was just to get the heart rate up and get sweaty. Okay, um, enjoy, I hope you enjoyed that one. That's it for the week. Let's look forward to week two. Keep with it guys, okay? If you found this week easy, don't worry, it's gonna progress forward. You should, with these workouts, should be working harder, okay? So push it harder, like I said with the burpees, push them harder. If you found this week hard, don't be, don't be too disheartened, okay? Stick with it, and you'll notice, definitely by the end of the fourth week, that you're flying through these kind of workouts, especially when we come to retest one of them, we know which one it is, uh, you'll find it so much easier than when you first done it. So just remember how hard it's taking you to do these workouts this first week. So when we come to week four, uh, you can look back and remember um, how hard it was and how easy it is. It will know, they will not let me get it straight. I'm not doing a sorry or wrong thing. They're never gonna be easy because we're always gonna progress forward. But it's important that you look back, okay, and realize how far you've come in such a short space. Okay, so it's only, week one, uh, we're just building it up gradually now, okay? So let's look forward to week four when we're really smashing it. So stay strong guys, stay safe, uh, have a good weekend.